This week, we saw the beginning of the Epic versus Apple trial, uh, which is a court case that <laughs> involves Epic suing Apple for uh, allegedly being anti-competitive. And I thought I would try and give a brief overview of what's going on here, even though this is an extremely complicated situation that uh, has many, many dynamic assets to it. Uh, in short, the main issue is that Epic takes uh, offense to Apple's demand of 30% uh, of a revenue cut from the App Store, whereas the developer keeps 70% and Apple gets 30%. Uh, and Epic's argument is that they are essentially doing nothing to deserve that 30%, just kind of existing as a platform. Uh, Epic started their own store on PC where uh, they only take 12% uh, and give the developer 88%. So they believe that they have a kind of a ground to stand on that this is how the industry should be and that it is oppressive for large and small developers to have to pay that much. To set this up, they uh, introduced an update into Fortnite several months ago that allowed you to uh, buy the game's currency by bypassing Apple's payment system entirely and just paying uh, a discounted sum to Epic. Apple responded by immediately banning Fortnite from the App Store, and it has been banned ever since. Uh, this was Epic's plan, and they decided to uh, launch their big uh, court case that they had prepared because they knew they would get banned, and that has led us to today where the trial really starts in earnest, and it's going to be about 45 hours of arguments on each side and should take several weeks, uh, but it's only been a day or two of testimony, and it is already pretty wild. Um, pretty much there's, there's two different angles to this, and both sides think that they're right, and we have to see who uh, is ultimately sided with. Epic believes that this is not just important for Fortnite, but also the entire future of kind of the uh, mobile ecosystem and the potential metaverse. Uh, the concept that uh, Fortnite is more than just a game, it is a shared social space, um, and having to run all transactions through it, uh, taking this 30% cut is uh, anti-competitive and is going to really hamper the growth of the metaverse in the long run, in addition to hurting individual games and apps right now. Uh, Apple, meanwhile, has all these different arguments kind of lined up against Epic that this whole thing was a stunt that they set up, uh, that iOS revenue is not actually a large part of Fortnite's overall revenue picture. So they're kind of making a big fuss about nothing when this doesn't really hurt them that much. They're also making the argument that the 70%, 30% cut is industry standard and they shouldn't be singled out kind of the way they are. Uh, and Epic is not going after uh, say Microsoft or Sony that have a 70, 30% cut on console. Uh, Epic, Epic's response to that is that the console business is an entirely different scene. And because of hardware subsidies and things like that, that kind of split is warranted. Whereas uh, Epic or Apple is making a massive, massive profit margin. Um, early numbers were something like, I think 70, 80% profit margin on it's 30% cut for doing pretty much nothing but existing as the only store on its mobile devices and not allowing other stores. So that's kind of the baseline of where we are right now. And there will be uh, many, many lengthy arguments made by both sides to try and uh, sway everyone as to who's right. I do not know how this is going to go. This is a pretty big risk for Apple. or <laughs> It's a risk for both of them, but it's a risk for uh, Epic as the smaller company. But we do have uh, other companies like Facebook and Microsoft that have kind of taken jabs, uh, seeing sensing Apple's weakness in this situation. So we'll have to see what happens. Every day there's some sort of new disclosure that uh, triggers a cascade of breaking news stories, uh, Some sometimes not even related to Epic and Apple at all, but other practices within the industry. So that's been kind of wild to see. So stay tuned and we'll, we'll see what happens with this case. But that is your kind of generic overview as to what's happening so far. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.